But we begin tonight with that massive mess and the cleanup underway at Southeastern High School in Detroit. Broken water pipes damaged most of the classrooms over the holiday break, and there is no quick way to repair it. We want to thank you for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Nearly 600 students will have to shift to online learning for the time being. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is at Southeastern High School with a look at the millions of dollars worth of damage and how the district is responding. We've been watching crews fill up dumpsters and what they're bringing out really tells the story. Insulation, flooring, bags and bags of debris really painting the picture of devastation inside a historic school. They have a catastrophe on their hands right now. The executive vice president for the Detroit Federation of Teachers, Lakia Wilson Lumpkins, stopped by the school to assess teacher needs during this disaster. She says teachers at Southeastern High are left wondering how they teach when material they put together in many cases is now gone. Much of their environment is destroyed. Um, walls, flooring, um, technology, millions and millions of dollars of damage. The Detroit Public Schools Community District says it all happened after a water pipe burst over break on the third floor of Southeastern High. Water flowed down, damaged the vast majority of classrooms beyond use in the more than 100 year old building. It's not the only school where pipes burst over the cold winter break. This was the scene at Roberto Clemente Academy in Southwest Detroit. It's expected to be closed until Thursday while crews repair flood damage there. But the situation is much more severe back here at Southeastern High. Balfour disaster response vehicles line the street, but despite significant efforts, the district estimates the high school will be closed for repairs for about two months. Southeastern is shifting to online learning starting Thursday, telling families to pick up laptops Tuesday and Wednesday. What's your emotional reaction when you see such damage in this school? It is heart wrenching because this is our safe space. Wilson Lumpkin says her history as a school counselor means she's thinking about how traumatic it is for students and staff to experience yet another disruption. I think we need to deal with those emotions first of dealing with catastrophe in your classroom, in your school. What does that feel like? And then resume instruction. You have to deal with the heart first. Despite all of this damage, one bit of good news, the district says the gym is still usable, so athletics will continue. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim.